second lieutenant Catherine Beatty. I am currently a second lieutenant at East Midlands University Officer Training Corps. I wanted to join the army back when I was 16 or 17 years old purely because I did army cadets at school for four years and I felt that the environment and the atmosphere that came from cadets was something that I wanted to continue um, and enjoy and potentially do in my future life and my career. I found that cadets gave me the amazing opportunity to work on my confidence sport and I felt that I was quite good in the natural sort of like leadership positions. Um, so from that, I sort of felt that perhaps a career in the army would be right for me. My primary role as a second lieutenant at East Midlands Officer Training Corps is to be a platoon commander for our Mod B company. Um, Mod B is one of the modules that you have to complete to be able to do um, the commissioning course short. So what this means is that I essentially teach and I help to develop a group of 30, so perhaps a platoon, um, in doing stuff such as the combat estimate and as well just overall develop their confidence and their leadership sort of traits. I went on to do this because I've just previously completed the commissioning course short and having been in Mod B last year at OTC I felt that it was right to go back and help other people in completing their modules. So one phrase that I would use to describe my time within the army so far would be incredible opportunities. The army give everybody that's within it so many opportunities to perhaps do stuff that they wouldn't originally get to do in Civvy Street. I personally have had the opportunity to go and do multiple adventurous training opportunities. So I've been very fortunate to go skiing before as well as winter mountaineering up in Scotland. These are things that I wouldn't get to do back in my Civvy Street, in my Civvy life. So yeah, the army have just given me some incredible opportunities to get to meet some people that I wouldn't usually get to meet and hear their stories as well as go off and do my own adventurous training. So I found out what bursary was best for me after speaking to the staff at my unit, um, but also speaking to other officer cadets that had gone through the process, um, as well as some officers within each unit that I was looking at joining. So currently at my unit, we have a Royal Electrical Mechanical Engineer, so a REMI officer, um, and he was really useful to talk to about what sort of things that the REMI offer um, and if it would be the right fit for me as an officer. So after speaking to him and again speaking to staff at the unit, I sort of knew that a technical core would be right for me. So the process of me getting the bursary was a relatively smooth process in my opinion. I applied back in December time um, and that was quite a relatively simple process. I just filled out the application and speaking to staff members at my unit, they helped me put together a reference and they also came up with a reference, a, a personal statement I mean, but they also came up with a reference for me to submit. I spoke to some old um, people that I'd worked with, so like old cadet instructors, old teachers, and they were all very willing to help put together references for me to submit. Um, so I submitted it before Christmas and then a little bit after Christmas in January of 22, I believe, I was then just contacted by my CSM who said, congratulations, the bursary, you've been selected for the bursary. So it was a relatively um, smooth process, um, all very positive. I didn't have any struggles at all and the st um, team, so like the candidate support team and the bursary team, they were all really supportive and helpful with any questions or queries I had. The bursary benefits me in many ways. Um, obviously, it is a financial bursary, so that has its own positives, but also because of that, it's allowed me to put some more money and some more funding into doing adventurous training and take part in the opportunities that my unit um, are offering me, as well as other units, such as the Royal Electrical Mechanical Engineers. They are currently offering a ski trip, so the bursary enables me to have that financial support to be able to go off and do all those adventurous training. Um, stuff. So I've been given the opportunity to go and do my ski foundation course in April of this year, as well as been able to organise. So I personally organised a multi-activity in Scotland. So the bursary enabled me to be able to go on that activity. Um, so yeah, it's also given me the opportunity to save up and to travel in my gap year next year. Um, where I'm planning to travel over Australia and Southeast Asia. In addition to that, um, the bursary has put me in a good position to be able to reach out and contact 
um, other staff and other uh, people uh, where I can organise visits and go and check out some of the technical cores that are on offer. The advice that I would give to future officers that are looking at joining um, Sandhurst as well as looking into different bursary options uh, is to be as much of a sponge as possible. Um, just absorb as much information as you can. If there are people that are willing to talk to you, take them up on their opportunities. Just say yes to everything because at the end of the day, it will only ever benefit you. Um, I always find that the best officers are the ones that listen as much as possible and they absorb all that information before then expressing it back down to their troops or their platoon. So just listen is the best advice I could give you. As well as that, do as much research as possible. So if you are looking into not only the bursary options, but if you are also looking at joining Sandhurst, do some research before going um, into what sort of regiment or corps you'd like to join and get in contact with them. So if you know that you are gonna go on to do an engineering degree and you're looking at doing the DSIS bursary, perhaps before you go and start that degree, speak to an officer um, that is in the regiment or the corps that you'd like to join and try and absorb as much information as to what life really is like for those officers. Um, and yeah, just gain a bigger understanding of the picture. I was uh, inspired to join the Army as an officer because I did cadets for four years. So I did the Army cadet balls uh, for four years when I was in secondary school. Um, I found that I went from being a very shy, timid girl to somehow having a load of confidence and came a lot. I came out of my shell. I thought that cadets gave me the environment where it was. I sort of felt safe and able to do that. Hence why I wanted to then look at joining the army. Again, that environment they provided, I thought was really fitting and I enjoyed being in it. So the person that inspired me to join as an officer was one of the cadet instructors. He encouraged me to perhaps look into that route because it was all felt, being in, in cadets, you obviously have something called NCO. So being in that sort of like command position and naturally being able to lead people and guide people and be that sort of support for people. He felt that I was very na like good at that. Um, and pushed me to go for it. The bursary scheme was something that I found myself. Um, nobody in my cadet unit had ever heard of before, uh, neither had my parents. So I was speaking to my mum about perhaps joining the army. However, she was very keen for me to go to university and the bursary route sort of seemed uh, an option that both our ideas could combine together. So I got to join the army after uni, but I also still went to uni, uh, which meant my mum was very pleased. Um, so yeah, I just did some research. I initially was going to look at doing uh, Welbeck, which was the old um, sixth form college that the, I think all three services um, sent people to. However, it was a big decision to make at a very young age. So I decided to pull out of that one. But a year later, I was still really keen and wanted to join the army. So I then found the bursary route and went through my application with that. I am most excited about all the different opportunities that I am, the technical course could offer me. So for myself personally, I'm looking at joining the Royal Electrical Mechanical Engineers. And I know for a fact that the Rumi have many different sporting opportunities, as well as different adventurous training opportunities, um, and just also career progression opportunities. So for myself, I'm looking at um, becoming an aviations officer and that is something that I'm really excited about in the future because it means that I could be attached, I could be a Rumi officer but also attached to the Army Air Corps um, and lead a troop of people in working with the helicopters that the Army have, um, which is something that I'm really passionate about and I'm quite excited for. But not only that, again, the sporting opportunities. I recently went to a swimming competition and I spoke to the um, swimming captain of the Rumi team that went, they smashed it, they were the um, first major unit, I believe. Uh, that came first in the major unit division. Um, so just those sort of opportunities where you get to go and swim and it's your job basically. <laughs> um, same for the AT side of it. There was nothing really that I wish I'd known before applying for my bursary. It, like I said, it was all a very much straightforward process. I understood it was quite simple in being able to apply for it. Um, and I sort of knew it's all very self-explanatory that if you have the DSIS bursary, then you have to join a technical corps. Um, so there's nothing in the sense that I would have liked to have known beforehand, but for anyone that is looking at applying for the DSIS bursary, I would say just give it your best shot. If you know that you're going to be joining a technical corps, 
then what have you got to lose from it? For me, I always knew that I'd end up either in the Royal Engineers or the Royal Electrical and Mechanical Engineers. So in my mind, it was a bit of a no brainer. Why wouldn't I have applied for it? It gives you so many opportunities. Um, so yeah, that was what I'd say to people that are applying for it, just go for it, especially if you know that it's where you are hoping to be in the future. Also, if you are applying for the DSIS bursary and you end up being granted it, um, when you go to Sandhurst, it alleviates one of those stresses where I think it's in second term where everyone starts applying for where what different regiments, what different corps they want to end up joining. If you have that bursary, then it sort of means that you already have a little bit more security in where you're going to end up after commissioning. Um, and for me personally, that's like one less stress that I have to worry about while I'm at Santa, so I can just focus on all the learning side of it, whereas everyone else might be in a position where they're a bit more worried because they haven't actually got that secure uh, security.